clan Discord servers, custom voice call activities, no more server monetization, and another free Nitro promotion. And an update on my divorce. All of that in this week's Discord news roundup. Now the first thing I want to talk about, and the reason why you probably clicked on this video, is that Discord is adding something called clans. And thank you to Discord Experiment Hub for showing me this, link in the description as always. When you create a new Discord server, you have this option. Now this is an alpha, things can and will change, but when you create a clan, it creates a special gaming guild, which doesn't explain anything at all. So how is a clan server different from a normal Discord server, and why did Discord even make a clan thing in the first place? Well, I'm not going to tell it to you. We're going to find out together. We're going to do it live. So first, I needed to join a Discord clan server, and it turns out they have a test server perfectly for me. As you can see, this is a totally epic clan, and it has exactly 200 members, which is just a coincidence. Anyways, I tried joining the server, and it's full. And that's the first difference with a clan server, is that it can only have 200 members. And in terms of all the other differences, well, I can't tell you, because I can't join a clan server. And you probably saw this coming from a mile away, but I'm already prepared, because the bread man, the Discord previews dude, invited me to my own clan server. And no, I'm not gonna make the joke about Clash of Clans, the abbreviation being COC. I'm not immature. I love Dave's incredible cookie kingdom. But anyways, the main differentiator between a clan server and a normal Discord server is that when you join it, you actually need to go through membership. You'll see membership is incomplete, and when you try to complete the membership, you need to fill out all these forms. But these aren't the only things you can do when you make a member application. In fact, you can have a long answer, single choice, multiple choice. Uh, wait, hold on a second. Oh, this is gilded. And if you invite someone and they fill out these forms, they can't do much on the server until their application gets reviewed. And unfortunately, I'm the one that gets to review member applications. And as you can see, if I click on pending, we have an application and we have this little slider, which I cannot slide. So that's why instead zoom, we're going to zoom into it. But in someone's application, you can approve and reject it, and there's a drop-down menu to ban them as well. Okay, Discord, you're cooking a little bit. You can see their profile, if they pass verification, and the answers to whatever questions you have. For me, this one's an easy solution. Oh, and you get to provide an option. And when you reject someone's application, yes, they can see it. This is how it looks like. Your application to join the server has been rejected, and when you click learn more, wow. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this was a lot more flushed out than I thought. I thought half of this stuff won't even work, but it's working pretty well, which means Discord is it's not just a concept. They're actually putting some work into it. So the second difference between normal servers and clan servers is this application thing. Okay, quick pause for a second. I'm editing this right now, and I just realized there might be a little bit of a problem with these clan applications because you can already imagine that some stupid kid is going to be like, oh, of course, I must enter my password to join this Discord server. And Discord does say at the very bottom, don't enter your password. Rest in peace, those kids that can't read. And I also want to point out that you can increase the server limit to above 200 members, but you need to send in a request, which Discord will probably never respond to because it takes five years for anything to happen. I'm projecting here. But the final difference is that when you go to the members list, it's a lot different. In fact, instead of focusing on who's online and all that stuff, it actually focuses on what people are doing. In this case, Breadman, I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name, is playing Ultra Kill. But if you aren't in a server that's deader than my romantic life, this is what it should look like with a lot of people in it. As you can see, people have a whole bunch of games, and if it's a verified game, it'll show the icon. These people are playing good games like Garfield Kart for 10 years. Oh, and also thank you to Discord Previews for the screenshot link in the description. <laughs> oh, you thought I was going to miss that. So now the ultimate question. Why is Discord making clan servers? I have no idea. Anyways, let's go on to our next topic. Discord is working on an experiment code, well, code names to this bad boy, Operation Porthole. And thank goodness I don't work at Discord because port would be bum. People have told me to make this really clear. This is a very much an alpha feature. Like Discord, they just conceptualized this. But what Operation Portholio does is it allows any developer to create their own voice call activities. So you aren't just stuck with these really generic ones in YouTube Watch together. A developer could make their own. Now, like me, you probably have no idea why people are excited about this because you can't think of anything. And the reason why developers are excited is because you could do some pretty cool things with this, like making a browser, a collaborative coding instance, a collaborative video editing software. Oh my goodness, I could crowdsource my editing for free. Oh, that would be a dream. All in side of Discord calls, and actually there was a proof of concept by Big Nutty showing how Visual Studio Code would look inside of Discord. Now I'm gonna be honest, coding isn't my forte at all. However, the second I heard something like browser, the alarm bell started ringing in my head, or maybe it's the tinnitus. But if everyone had access with Operation Porthole to make their own activities, what is stopping someone from making an activity called log into your Discord account on a sketchy website? Or Operation Get Free Nitro for zero dollars by filling out a whole bunch of surveys? But, like I said, this is a very early feature. They're gonna need to figure out some security measures, or else Discord
Discord lore is going to get a whole new scam arc. So both Operation Cornholio and Clash of Clans Discord servers is something that we're probably going to see in like 2040, but Discord actually does have some experiments that you might see next week. And the first experiment, whoosh, zoom in baby, is called Nitro Badge on Emoji Hover. I know, a riveting name. But what it does is that when you hover over someone's emoji, it says custom emoji. And if you click on it, it says it's powered by Nitro. This is Discord begging for you to give them money. Please just give us money. We need it. Pathetic beggars. Anyways, please like and subscribe. I really need it to get one gazillion subscribers. Anyways, that isn't the only experiment because Discord, oh, what's that? They want even more of your money? Sir, yes, sir, because they're releasing collectibles anime V2. And why would you want to buy these anime items? Well, you want senpai to notice you. Ooh. I've been paid off by the government to make that noise. Now, here's the thing. If you are a Discord degenerate like myself that did say uwu to a whole bunch of people that watched your YouTube video, you might already know that if you go to your shop, there are anime items already. You just need to scroll a lot where your finger starts getting tired. But if you like the look of these anime avatar decorations, well, there's more coming. In terms of the avatar decorations, Discord is probably just using the old ones that they've leaked before. Our hopes and dreams of having Gojo glasses as an avatar decoration or a domain expansion profile effect is out of the equation. <laughs> and where are you going to get the money to buy all these new avatar anime decoration profile effect to ex uh, Michael Michael transactions? Well, it's not going to be for monetizing your Discord server because here's the thing. If you go to your Discord server, go to your user set server settings, almost messed that one up, and you go to the monetization tab, you might have been one of those eager beavers that have been waiting to monetize your Discord server and make bedillions of dollars a month. But if you've been waiting to turn your Discord server into a money grab cesspool, well, you don't have to wait any longer because Discord, let me let me scroll down for uh, build up the suspense here, but Discord will make it where server subscriptions will not be available outside of the United States. You will never be able to turn your Discord server into the next Hustlers University like Andrew Potato. You cannot be a grifter on Discord anymore, which is actually great news. And you might think you're Megamind or something and you're thinking, well, why don't I just use a VPN to go into the United States? Well, that's not going to work because for Discord to give you money, you need to have a US bank account. Now, this final topic is a treat for my negative net worth Sigma viewers. Because Discord is making another one month of free Discord Nitro promotion. And I'm gonna be honest, I think Discord uh, learned from their past mistakes, because the last time they did an Opera GX free Nitro thing, uh, it turned into an infinite Nitro generator. And in this case, Alien Wart, or Alienware, is giving us free Discord Nitro, but your eyes instantly see that there are only 5,000 keys available. And uh, let me just refresh the page, it's probably been sitting for like 10 minutes, and uh, 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 I'm a, I'm a gonna be real with you. The second this video comes out, it's probably already expired, but I'll have this link to the description, but I bet you $100 all these keys are gonna be gone. Anyways, gamers, that's all I have for the Discord news, and it turns out your wife can't divorce you if she isn't alive. This is purely a joke and not based on reality. Anyways, bye-bye, I love you. Mwah!